On the latest edition of SVG Sports Tech On Demand, we're going to talk to a company that's been very prevalent in the sports video production industry for quite some time, CP Communications. We are joined by James Monroe. He's Director of Sales at CP. James, first off, how are you holding up and uh, where are you quarantining these days? Well, I'm quarantining at home. Uh, thanks, for, thanks for having us on. And, uh, you know, CP Communications, we're still open. You know, mm -hmm. we're doing all kinds of stuff. Um, but, you know, we've had to take those precautions, as every company has with COVID, our field shops in both Florida and New York uh, are taking the proper uh, preventions uh, for this type of disease in the workplace. But, you know, we are open. We're still servicing our customers and, and that will continue uh, into the future. So we don't know how long this lasts, but we've mm -hmm. taken actions. A lot of our employees are working from home and those that are in the shop, we've spread their days out, things like that. But, uh, you know, we're still shipping gear out. And as long as we're able to do that, we'll continue to do so. Now, at its core, you guys are mostly a transmission company, but you certainly do a lot more than that. Uh, but over the past few weeks and in this current environment, um, how has the company shifted, if, at, if at all, uh, regarding some of the solutions that you offer? Well, I, I think the, the products that we offer from our partner, Mobile Viewpoint, uh, as, as you know, the, the North American reseller, the Caribbean, you know, parts of South America as well, uh, you know, we're having a lot of interest in, in those transmission type products because, you know, everybody's streaming remotely. You know, our phone app, Mojo uh, based uh, streaming app is what we are really focusing on right now because it's an inexpensive solution. We're able to do multiple streams uh, across one RU unit and, and we find that our competitors aren't doing the same type of thing. So it allows us to be more nimble. We're able to create more content and we're able to do it at a price point that I think fits people's budgets right now because I mean, everybody's trying to figure this out, working from home, working from a remote studio, whatever it may be, we tend to have, you know, those types of uh, products that, you know, all the way up to 4K if, they, if a customer wanted it. Um, and, you know, we've got a deep stock of it. So the good news is a rental house, uh, as well as, you know, providing all kinds of content delivery and, and tools for our, our normal customers, we're actually well positioned to help government, the healthcare networks, uh, you know, the AV business that's really struggling right now. We're able to help people out to continue to create content and share it, uh, you know, via, via uh, video transmission over IP. Now, you guys are well tapped into this industry. Uh, what, what are you seeing as major trends right now? And how has the current environment maybe changed your view on uh, you know, what the sports television industry might look like in the very near future? Yeah, you know, I, we've really been looking at this for a period of time now. And, you know, the leadership here at CP, the leadership at Mobile Viewpoint, you know, I think the, the folks that we've got in charge have made some really smart decisions. And as a group, we're kind of moving toward an AI driven solutions for sports production, for at home productions, for a lot of different things. And that AI uh, production capability is really accelerating as we see it into the COVID you know, environment because you have studios where you, know, you don't have a studio crew, you don't really want a studio crew, but you still may want to use your back sets and lights and cameras and everything else. And we've got the tools that'll fit with that. And especially coming out of the COVID uh, pandemic as we head into uh, the latter part of 2020, although we don't have an end date, of course, but uh, we see AI-driven solutions being really not you know, a year ago, you could have said, well, yeah, this would be nice to have. I think in six months from now, it's going to be things that people have to have. You know, if you're producing, you know, tier two, tier three, tier four type sports, high school sports, you know, lower colleges, whatever it may be, um, you're going to want to do that with as few people as possible. You know, there's cost uh, concerns for, for our customers, but there's also concerns about, you know, traveling and, 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 you know, introducing people to these types of diseases and stuff. And this is not something new. Um, you know, it, it, on, a, on a pandemic level, this is pretty crazy right now what we're seeing, but mm -hmm. we think this has been heading there, you know, for the last few years, you know, H1N1 was kind of the start of it, um, you know, as far as the production side, but, you know, we're seeing more and more re uh, requirements and requests for the AI driven solutions. And I, I think we're pretty well positioned for that moving into 20, the rest of 2020, 2021 and beyond. Sure. Really interesting and insightful stuff. James, we really appreciate you taking the time out of what's, I'm sure, a crazy time for you and the company right sure. now. Uh, we wish you guys nothing but the best going forward and uh, certainly please stay in touch. Will do. And thank you for having us. Of course. He is James Monroe, Director of Sales for CP Communications. You can find out more and check out more of the SVG Sports Tech On Demand blog right now over at sportsvideo.org.